No, I just want to talk. Would you like to learn about how my family evolved throughout history? While the Great White Shark is the most famous shark we know today, it's only a brief history of the 420 million years that scientists believe that sharks have lived on this earth. Most experts estimate that sharks truly evolved about 360 million years ago in the Carboniferous period. This golden age of sharks lasted about 70 million years into the Permian period. Many scientists believe this was one of the first sharks, dated about 400 million years ago. There have been reports of about two to 3,000 different fossil species of sharks. Shown in this diagram are different fossils that paleontologists have found of sharks. Included are vertebrae, fin spine, rostral road, teeth, cartilage, dermal dentricles, and coprolites. Teeth are the most commonly found. This is because sharks usually have four or five rows. With this in mind, we know that sharks can have up to about 3,000 teeth at one time. And by taking this one step further, we know that sharks can have up to 30,000 teeth throughout their lifetime. Teeth have many benefits to showing us how sharks might have looked back then. Unfortunately, completely intact teeth are difficult to come by. Sharks have had a lot of time to evolve. Somewhere between 410 and 440 million years ago, to be more precise. Shown here is the Adestus gigantus, which lived sometime throughout the late Carboniferous period. The Adestus gigantus was comparable in size to a great white shark, shown in green. The enormous megalodon is displayed in red. The feature that this shark is most recognized for is its jaws and the layout of its teeth. It is believed to have been carnivorous due to its sharp teeth. The purpose of its curved jaw, however, has never truly been deciphered. Here we get a look at the Helicoprian shark. It lived throughout the early Triassic about 225 million years ago. It is considered one of the most interesting sharks of all time due to its jaw. Fossil evidence suggests that this shark had a jaw in the shape of a swirl. And if you thought great whites were scary, imagine swimming into one of these in the middle of the ocean. But now, for the most famous shark to ever live, the Carcodon Megalodon. The megalodon is the largest predatorial fish ever. Oh no, is that a megalodon in the bay? Here's another comparison between the great white and what scientists believe the megalodon would have looked like. The megalodon and the great white shark actually did live within the same period. The megalodon fossils date back to about 30 million years ago. And great white fossils date back to about 16 million years ago. The location of megalodon fossils suggests that they lived around the same areas as great white sharks did. The main areas are seen here in red. 
Shown here is the jaw of a megalodon. Megalodon teeth are often viewed as some of the biggest of any animal to ever exist. Scientists have found many complete megalodon teeth because its life was so recent. It only went extinct about 3 million years ago and is still considered a modern, modern shark. But as much as sharks have changed throughout history, many of their characteristics have stayed the same. This shark diagram shows many characteristics of sharks that can be used to further identify them. This diagram shows modern shark orders and the way that scientists distinguish them. These scientific names probably don't mean that much to you right now, but let's try putting a face to each one in order from oldest to youngest. Sharks get a bad rap for movies like Jaws or even Finding Nemo, but when you look at the statistics, they're really not that harmful. If I was a great white, I wouldn't bite you, but I swim right next to you. Now I'm not saying that you should just if hang I around if you're this guy, white, but I am saying you, that sharks deserve respect. Right a lot of shark species are becoming extinct, including the great white shark. Let's increase awareness that sharks aren't so bad. If I was a great white, I wouldn't bite you, but I'd swim right next to you.